Namaste everyone. I am Akanksha, your yoga coach. And with me, we are going to be now observing some asanas which will be very good for your balance. Not only your physical balance but also your mental balance. So let's begin with normal steady breathing. So you inhale and exhale deep and get aware of your whole body, your whole senses and take out the fear inside of you. Now, close your eyes. Inhale deep. And now exhale out. Inhale. And exhale. Keep a smile on your face. As you're inhaling, inhale and see the awareness, see your body traveling. Your whole awareness is traveling and getting to know your whole body. Now as you're exhaling, you're exhaling out the fear of falling. Any sort of fear that makes you fumble or divert your mind. Inhale once again. And exhale out deep. And now after exhaling, open your eyes smiling. Let's begin with the Brikshasana or the tree pose. For that, take your right leg and put it on the left inner thigh. Let's take the right leg in. So you can hold your ankle here. Maintaining the balance and taking it on the left inner thigh. And push your right leg, right knee out. Now inhale, take both the hands up, stretch them up and look at the point of your eye level. Bring your knee outside, breathe deep and keep on looking at that point and keep on telling your mind to be as stable as the point you're looking at. That is your goal. Smile and now slowly bring your hands down. Take your right leg out. Now, we do it with the other leg, that is the left leg, and place it on the right inner thigh. At times, it gets in a way that if from one side you'll be able to balance better, and from the other, the balance will be a little off. Don't worry, you'll be able to do with both the sides with practice. So have patience and keep the balance up. Breathe in deep and breathe out. The main key to balance is your breathing and your awareness of the body. Now slowly bringing your hands down, taking your left leg down. Inhale and exhale down. Now we'll do Uchit Padangusht Asana. For that you have to raise your right leg forward and you can bend your knee and hold your right big toe with your fingers and now slowly extend your leg try to keep it straight if you're not able to take it straight just bend your knee a slight slightly here and slowly extend keep your tummy in keep your back straight stay here for a while looking at the point maintaining that balance slowly bringing in the leg down and now let's extend the right leg back in the Natraj Asana. In the Natraj Asana, I'll show you from the profile, you're extending, you're holding your right leg and extending it at the back. Making a Shunya Mudra with your left hand, looking at that Shunya. Shunya means the zero. The Natraj Asana is a very good posture to have that ultimate balance and a back bend which will make you feel rejuvenated. Now slowly bringing the leg down and breathe here. So I have taught you two main postures, the Uthrit Padangusht Asana and the Natraj Asana from the right side. Now let's do the same ones from the left side. Now making the yogic lock, two fingers like making L with the middle finger and the index finger at your thumb. And now holding your left big toe with this, breathing in. Yes. 
down slowly, extending your left leg forward and smile and look at the point. Breathe in deep here, keep your back straight, keep your tummy in. Try not to lean forward and maintain that balance. Breathing in deep, looking at the point. Relax here. Now let's go for the Nataraj Asana from the same. Extending. I am turning my body to the right side so you can see how I am doing the Nataraj Asana. I am holding my foot and now slowly extending the left leg back. The breath slowly and steadily. Stay here for a while. Look at the shunya of your right hand and breathe. Smile and now slowly come back. Relax. Breathe in deep. Relax. Now another asana which is very good for your balance is your, your side lunge. Your side lunge and in a warrior posture you go down, take your right leg, right heel up, left knee a little bend, left leg bend and now taking both the hands up. Keep the balance here, breathe in. Your left leg is 90 degree, your right leg is bent, looking forward. Keep the balance here in the center. This posture has is a little easier than the others but it is very good for keeping the balance of the center, making you aware of the fulcrum that is here in the center of your body. So breathe in deep and look at a point. Now slowly coming up, changing the side, doing the same asana from the right side now. Going up, breathe and relax here. Stay here, stay focused. Now slowly coming back, from here we'll proceed to the last asana for the balance that is the warrior tree. A warrior tree is a little difficult for new beginners so what you have to do is you have to take the support of the wall and you have to keep your hands on the wall rather than doing it free. If you want to do it, venture out, it's good because first you, need, you should know that Sometimes, you know, the beginners do it really well than the other people. So, maybe you have that thing in yourself to do that. So, let's come to the center of the front of the mat. Breathe in. And take your right leg back. So, if you are a beginner, take both the hands at the back side. Look forward. If you are okay with the balance here, take your hands like the bird. And if you want to venture out, you can do the Earth Chandra Asana here. You can take your left hand down and take your right hand up. And look up at the hand. Extend your right leg. Left leg should be straight. Right leg should be straight. Your body should be facing to the side. Now slowly bring the right leg forward. Inhale and exhale. Let's do it on the other side. We have extended our right leg. Now it's time to extend the left leg. Taking both the feet together here. Now we take our left leg back. Keeping the balance of the right leg. Taking both the hands back side or to the side. Or you can go for the Ardhichandra Taking your right hand down and taking your left hand up. Smile. Great. Extend your legs properly, straight. And your body to the side. Breathing in. And out. Slowly come down. Take both the feet together. Come up slowly, very nicely. Come to the center of the mat. Make a namaste in front of your chest. Keep your eyes closed. Bring the focus inside. And breathe deep, opening your eyes with a smile. So these are very basic asanas or the, the
the beginner asanas which you should do if you want to keep the balance of your body of your mind of anything you do because all these postures of yoga inspire you or make you ready to be to maintain an equilibrium in your life so stay positive and keep practicing yoga with me subscribe to my channel yoga with akanksha on youtube and you can follow me on instagram with the handle at the rate underscore the indian yogini i'm also there on facebook with the name the indian yogini so follow me and share the video namaste